What's up you guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel today. So, it is April 16th today, which means that Coachella officially started two days ago. I'm sure you guys have been seeing tons and tons and tons of Coachella pictures and outfit idea lookbooks and makeup looks and all that. And so I really wanted to create something, something easy, but something also kind of festive that maybe if you like it, you could wear it to Coachella. See how to get this look, which I know you guys can't see too well be with my glasses. So if you'd like to see how to get this Coachella-inspired look, then please continue. The first thing I'm going to be using to prime my face is this. Ignore the light there. This uh, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydro Prime Primer Lotion. The reason why I'm using this is because it's got 12-hour moisture and it's a 3-in-1. So it moisturizes, it primes, and perfects. It's really hydrating, and I feel like for... If you're going to be out in the sun, you should definitely have something that is hydrating. So, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this all over my face. And yes, I'm doing this blind right now because I can't see without my glasses. I plan on getting contacts really soon. So... Maybelline New... Uh, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade deep font it's pretty much the same shade just that one was really really liquidy for some reason I read somewhere that if you set your uh, eyeshadow or your concealer base, whatever, it's better. So I'm just going to be using this regular powder from CoverGirl in this shade Soft Honey 155 to set my uh, concealer. Now those two things are done. I'm going to use one of my older, not really name brand palettes, but um, it's this thing I got. My mom got me it as a gift, and it's got like these pink shades in it. So if you guys can't find this like eyeshadow color, you guys can use any pinkish or maroonish color. These are the colors that come in it. So if you can find anything with similar colors like that, that'll be great. You don't have to have this exact one. Take this light pink shade right here and put that on my brush dust some of it off and then apply it to my lid i'm not doing too much of a blending thing here i'm just adding I'm just going to use the same brush because I'm going to blend it out together. I'm going to use this purpley maroon shimmery color to just put towards the end corner of my eye and to blend it to the center. Using the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Telescope Liner to just do a wing eyeliner. And I don't know, again, how to do it on camera, so I haven't learned to do that yet, so I'm going to do it down here. And if you guys want a tutorial for it one day, I will show you guys. But for right now, I'm just going to use what has been my favorite go-to foundation for a Coachella evening because of the fact that it is lightweight and is not an actual, um, what was I going to say? It's not an actual, uh foundation it is a tinted moisturizer so I 
This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Scale Gels or Medium Dark Teal. So I just take some. I don't take a lot because it is, again, it's a tinted moisturizer and so I prefer that I don't have too much of it. But this matches my exact skin tone, you guys. I think I'm like warm toned or something like that, so. To deal with my blemishes, I'm gonna use my favorite concealer. I have uh, the concealer that actually matches this one, the NARS concealer, whatever, but I haven't used it yet because I prefer to use this one right now because I know how to use it. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. So this is my all-time favorite concealer. It's completely full coverage and it's amazing and I love it. Now that I have all that, I'm just going to set it with a powder. You're probably going to be sweating throughout the night. You want to make sure that you have a lot on, especially if you have oily skin, which in this case, I do have oily skin. So I tend to put on a lot, especially on my T-zone and my forehead because I already know how that's going to go. So, yeah. I was going to fill in my eyebrows because, you know, they could use a little filling in, but I actually lost my Anastasia dip, dip, dip brow pomade, so I guess I can't fill in my eyebrows, which really sucks because they could use a little bit of shaping and filling in, but again, I don't know where they where it is. Um, I lost it, and you guys are probably thinking, how the heck do you lose a thing on pomade? Um, I've, I can lose pretty much everything. Next step, then is to use this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and that is what I'm going to use to apply the festive uh, de designs to my face. So this is in a uh, rose gold color. I don't know exactly what color. Oh here it is. Uh, 060 Peach apparently is the color for the glitter and is there one for the solid? Nope. Okay, so that's the entire thing. So I'm going to take the solid end of it, the metallic side of it like that, and I'm going to use that to apply little dots above my eyebrow. So I'm just going to That is my design for the solid and then for the glitter side I'm going to attempt to do some glitter tear type thing something under my eyes I'm not sure if I should do squiggles or just a triangle so again I'm just winging this here I'm just gonna kind of
to look even now. I was trying to do like a tear thing, but I just did triangles instead. This is the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlight in the shade Lit, I do believe. And so here it looks like this. I always have to admire a highlight, you know, highlight right here. I feel like we got a really festive thing going here. my wet and wild mega glow illuminating palette and this one has two pink shades in it so i'm just going to dip my finger in a little bit swirl it around and then apply it to my cheeks as well i feel like this one's more i'm going to use that to just blend out that pink color into my cheek I'm going to be trying out this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I got it at Ulta when I redeemed my rewards thing or whatever. So I haven't used it yet and I want to see how it will look. So I'm going to try it out. be using this Revlon lip gloss in the shade Sandstorm I do believe yep Sandstorm so it's a shimmery color here just add some glitter and some shine to my lips but it doesn't really add color So yeah, here is the finished look. I think it looks really nice even without my eyebrows filled in. I don't know what to do with my hair. And so, yeah, I should have styled it, but I didn't. So I'm just going to push it back behind my ears and call it a day. so that was it for today's video if you guys liked it then please give it a thumbs up for me comment down below anything that you want if you would like to leave some feedback on my video that would be amazing i would love that with all my heart if you left some feedback down there or if you would like to give some video ideas or you know just have a conversation with me down there if you want to i mean i'm not stopping you go ahead i'm not stopping you at all and uh yeah it's in my next video um, I love you guys so much, and thanks for the support. So uh, thanks for the support and all the love. Um, I really like making these videos for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.